Reincarnation. The theory of reincarnation suggests that after death, an immortal entity called the soul transitions into a new body to continue its development. This concept has roots in ancient religions and philosophies such as Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. According to this theory, a person's life is just one stage in the long journey of the soul, which includes many rebirths. The goal of reincarnation is to achieve spiritual perfection or liberation from the cycle of rebirths, known as samsara. Some teachings believe that the law of karma determines the conditions of the next incarnation based on actions in past lives. Reincarnation is also accepted in some modern, esoteric, and New Age movements. Despite the widespread dissemination of this idea, from the perspective of modern science, there is no reliable confirmation of the phenomenon of reincarnation. Heaven and Hell, the theory of heaven and hell, is central to many religions, such as Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. According to this theory, after death, souls go to heaven or hell, depending on their earthly deeds. Heaven is often described as a place of bliss and eternal happiness, where souls are in the presence of God. Hell, on the other hand, is depicted as a place of eternal torment and punishment for sins. It is believed that divine justice and moral responsibility determine the fate of the soul. These concepts serve as a moral compass for many believers and a reminder of the consequences of their actions. Despite differences in details between religions, the general idea of heaven and hell is common to many beliefs and cultures around the world. Spiritual world. The theory of the spiritual world posits the existence of an invisible dimension where the souls of the deceased continue their existence. This world is often described as a place where spiritual entities such as angels, demons, or other supernatural forces reside. In various religious and philosophical teachings, the spiritual world may be a place of trials, purification, or the final rest of the soul. In idealistic concepts, it is contrasted with the material world and considered the world of causes, while the material world is the world of consequences. In some beliefs, the spiritual world is an intermediate state before transitioning to the final place of existence or reincarnation. This theory emphasizes the importance of spiritual practices and moral behavior in earthly life, as they can affect the fate of the soul in the afterlife. Nirvana, the theory of nirvana in Buddhism, describes a state of complete liberation from suffering and the cycle of rebirths known as samsara. This state is achieved by the complete extinguishing of all desires and attachments, leading to inner peace and bliss. Nirvana is some is considered the ultimate goal of spiritual aspirations and can be attained through meditation and asceticism. In early Buddhism and Theravada, nirvana represents a state where the influence of suffering, desires, and attachments ceases. In Mahayana Buddhism, nirvana's view is also associated with the concept of shunyata, or emptiness, indicating the absence of inherent essence in all phenomena. Nirvana embodies not only personal liberation, but also a profound understanding of the truth about the nature of reality, quantum theory of consciousness. The quantum theory of consciousness suggests that classical mechanics cannot explain consciousness, and quantum mechanics must be invoked. It explores phenomena such as superposition and quantum entanglement to understand how consciousness interacts with matter at the quantum level. This theory has been developed in the works of scientists like Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff, who proposed the orsch or model, explaining consciousness through quantum processes in the brain. Although quantum consciousness is a marginal direction in science, it opens new perspectives for understanding consciousness. Critics point out the lack of experimental confirmations and the difficulty of testing hypotheses within this theory. Nevertheless, quantum consciousness continues to attract the attention of scientists and philosophers seeking to expand the boundaries of knowledge about the nature of consciousness. Objective reduction. The theory of objective reduction proposed by Roger Penrose links quantum mechanics with the general theory of relativity and suggests that a quantum state remains in superposition until the difference in space-time curvature 
reaches a significant level. This process, which is not algorithmic, may play a key role in the functioning of consciousness. Penrose asserts that human consciousness cannot be simulated computationally, as it contains something special, possibly related to the nature of consciousness. He also suggests that microtubules inside neurons may maintain quantum superpositions, which are crucial for consciousness. The objective collapse of the quantum wave function of microtubules represents physical behavior beyond computability. This theory is an attempt to explain consciousness through non-computable physics and suggests that the human mind possesses capabilities that no Turing machine can have. Spiritism. Spiritism is a religious philosophical doctrine that emerged in the mid-19th century in France thanks to Allan Kardec. The main idea of spiritism lies in the belief in the existence of a spiritual world and the possibility of communicating with the spirits of the deceased through mediums. Spiritism suggests that human spirits go through a series of reincarnations for spiritual perfection. After completing the cycle of reincarnations, the spirit is liberated and transitions to eternal life, full of joy and bliss. Spiritist sessions, including table turning and automatic writing, are used to connect with the afterlife. Despite criticism and skepticism from the scientific community, spiritism has had a significant influence on religious and occult movements around the world. Esoteric teachings. Esoteric teachings are a collection of secret knowledge and practices accessible only to the initiated. They encompass various mystical, religious, and philosophical traditions, such as Kabbalah, alchemy, astrology, and many others. These teachings often explore the connection between humans and the cosmos, as well as the internal processes of self-discovery and spiritual development. Esotericism may include practices of meditation, symbolism, and rituals aimed at achieving a deep understanding of the hidden aspects of reality. Figures like Hermes Trismegistus, symbolizing wisdom and knowledge, play an important role in the history of esotericism. Although esoteric teachings are often criticized for their unscientific nature, they continue to influence culture and spiritual practices around the world. Philosophical materialism. Philosophical materialism is a worldview according to which matter is primary and consciousness and ideal phenomena are secondary and arise from material processes. This theory asserts that all reality, including consciousness, is based on matter and its interactions. Materialism originated in antiquity and has evolved throughout the history of philosophy, reflecting in various cultures and epochs. In modern understanding, Materialism is often contrasted with idealism, which sees the foundation of reality in ideas or consciousness. Critics of materialism point out its insufficiency in explaining subjective experience and consciousness. Nevertheless, materialism continues to influence the scientific understanding of the world and philosophical research. Theory of Eternal Recurrence The theory of eternal recurrence, associated with the philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche, is the idea that the universe and all its events infinitely repeat in a cyclical order. This concept is based on the assumption that time is infinite and the number of possible states of the universe is limited, leading to their repetition. Nietzsche used this idea to express the highest form of affirmation of life and acceptance of the world in all its manifestations. Eternal recurrence also implies that every individual moment of life will be reproduced exactly an infinite number of times. This theory elicits various emotional reactions in people, from panic at the inevitability of repetition to inspiration to live a full life. Nietzsche believed that the prospect of eternal recurrence should motivate people to live as if each of their choices would be repeated forever. Many Worlds Theory, the Many Worlds Theory, also known as the Many Worlds Interpretation, is one of the interpretations of quantum mechanics. It suggests that the universe branches into many parallel universes at each quantum event. These parallel universes exist independently of each other, and in each of them, all possible outcomes of each event are realized. 
The idea was first proposed by Hugh Everett in 1957 and rejects the concept of wave function collapse, characteristic of the Copenhagen interpretation. The many worlds interpretation implies that the entire universe is described by a single wave function that obeys Schrodinger's equation. This theory sparks much debate among physicists and philosophers as it offers a radically new view of reality and the nature of consciousness. Biocentrism theory, the theory of biocentrism, proposed by Robert Lanza, asserts that life and consciousness are fundamental aspects of the universe. According to this theory, the universe and all physical phenomena within it arise as a result of interaction with life and consciousness. Biocentrism suggests that without life and consciousness, the universe could not exist as we know it. This theory places living nature and consciousness at the center of understanding reality, moving away from traditional anthropocentric and physiocentric views. Biocentrism also criticizes modern scientific approaches that do not consider life and consciousness as necessary components for explaining the universe. This theory provokes discussions in the scientific community as it offers a new perspective on the interrelationship between life, consciousness, and the structure of the universe. Yes, yes, yes. I'm the guy from the video. Thank you very much for watching. I will be glad if you like and leave a comment on what topic you want to talk about in the next video. Also, don't forget to watch our other videos. See you again.